Can the speed of an Instapot keep up with the taste of a Crock-Pot? We're about to find out. In today's video, we're going to be making these delicious Chipotle copycat beef barbacoa tacos using the exact same recipe. Only difference? One will be prepared in the Instapot and one will be prepared in the Crock-Pot. Trust me, the winner may shock you. Let's get right into it. Let's get this meal meal prepped. So I have two bags ready here. I'm going to get all the ingredients that I need prepped and ready inside these bags because we're about to test out this recipe in my crock pot and in my Instapot. So it's going to be this exact same recipe cooked two different ways and let's see which one tastes better. This recipe calls for three limes juiced. So for every lime that you're gonna juice, it's about an ounce. So since I need three limes juiced for each one, I'm going to do three ounces of 100% lime juice. So let's get that measured out. And I go just under that four ounce mark. I'll add that to my bag and make sure I don't splash it all over anything. Okay. All right, so then for the second one, that'll be for my crock pot one. And then this one is gonna be for the Instapot. Now freezer meal cooking is so simple and easy. This has saved me so much time and money. I just do a grocery order, have it delivered to my house, get all my ingredients prepped, thrown in these freezer bags, throw it in my freezer and then I'm good to go. And lastly, to my freezer bag, I'm just going to add one large onion to each bag. Make sure y'all are subscribed to our channel and like this video and I want y'all to comment below, which dish do you think is gonna taste better? Do you think this dish is gonna taste better cooked in the crock pot or the Instapot? My guess is gonna be the crock pot because a lot of time with the roast, you want it to really be cooked like low and slow. I feel like that brings out a lot of the flavors. So I'll be interested to see how well this recipe is going to cook in that Instapot. Hopefully it tastes delicious because that's what we're going to be eating for dinner. Now you can do like onion slices if you want, or you can dice it up finely, whichever way you prefer is fine. One of my favorite benefits of freezer meal prep and freezer meal cooking is how much time and money I'm saving myself. I'm a family of five. I have three young kids. My son is in sports, so we're busy a lot. Freezer meal prep just helps me save so much time and money while still making these delicious meals for my kids that they will actually eat. It's so nice to come home from a sporting event or be gone all day and have a delicious meal ready to go in the crock pot. It is such a time saver and I love saving money too. Now that I have both bags prepped, let's put these to the test and see which one is going to taste better. The crock pot or Instapot version. If y'all have not commented below to let me know which one you think is gonna taste better, do that right now. As a reminder, both of these bags have the exact same thing in them that I've meal prepped a few days ago and tonight's dinner is going to be this Chipotle copycat beef and I'm gonna serve this in a taco. So for the crock pot version, I'm starting this super early in the morning. I'm going to be cooking this on low for about eight, nine, 10 hours. I'm also gonna test this out for y'all to see if you actually save yourself any more time by not chopping this up. So for both of the crock pot and the Instapot, I'm gonna put that entire chuck roast just in their hole and showing y'all the end results to see if you can save yourself even more time. After nine hours on low, here is the end result for our crock pot. This one smells delicious, it looks delicious, and it was very fork tender. As you can tell right here, I can easily pull this apart just one-handed with one fork Fork. We're taking two forks and just easily shredding this up so I can get that perfectly shredded meat for my tacos. On that same night, I am also pulling out my Instapot to see if my family is going to be able to tell the difference in this dish. So make sure y'all stay tuned to the very end because I'm going to be doing a blind taste test to see if I can tell the difference. This is the type of Instapot that I have so you can see all the different options on the outside and we're going to be using that bottom right hand button for that pressure cooking option. And then these are the kinds of tortillas that I'm going to be using tonight for both dishes. I will be using just a basic flour tortilla and I'm going to have my husband plate both of these options for me with the same tortilla and see if I can tell a taste difference at all. I also always like to use a nonstick spray in my crock pot and my Instapot before I put any kind of food or anything in there. I just think it really helps with the cleanup process at the end of the night. All right, y'all, bag number two has been prepared the exact same way as the crock pot version. And all I'm gonna do is take all the contents from inside the bag and dump it directly into the Instapot. And then once I have everything in there and I have the lid on and I have secured it, I have it plugged in. I will be using that pressure cook option button. So you want to pressure cook this 
on high for 60 minutes. And don't be intimidated by using an Instapot to cook. I know a lot of times people like get intimidated by these. They are very simple to use. On my lid, it even shows you like an unlock and lock position. So you'll know as soon as it's locked, it kind of clicks into place right there. And then on mine, I just use that bottom right button to pressure cook. I change the pressure level to high. There's a high and low option. You wanna make sure you have that high pressure option. And then set your cooking time for 60 minutes. Once you have done all of those options, you will know you have done everything correctly because on my Instapot, it goes from showing the time to showing the word on. That just tells me that it is set correctly right there and it is good to go. I also do this one little thing and recommend doing this. I pull my Instapot out from underneath my cabinets just because during this sealing process and venting process at the end, there's a very hot steam that's going to come out right here and I just don't want that all over my cabinet area. So once the Instapot is fully sealed right here, I have this to the ceiling position. Your timer will come back on the screen and that's how you know that one hour time mark has started. Once that full hour is up, mine shows a little L and I use that timer as my 20 to 30 minutes of a natural release. This is the step that people get intimidated and I totally understand. I make my husband do this part, like the venting, you want to push it over so it can be vented correctly. And once this is pushed over and starts venting, that is when your 20 to 30 minute timer will start. For that step, I always recommend like using a dish towel or some kind of towel when you're pushing that over because that steam coming out is very hot and you don't want to burn your hand. I ended up waiting about 33 minutes total after it was done cooking for that natural release process. So after one hour of pressure cooking on high and 30 minutes of a natural release, this is what it looked like. This is my end result for the Instapot version and it smells delicious and looks delicious. I will recommend though for this Instapot version, make sure you are chopping this up into just like small cubed sizes because as y'all can tell, this was not as easy to pull apart like the crock pot was. So 100% don't skip that step. Here's the final moment that y'all have been waiting for. Let's get into this blind taste test. Ooh. Is it? Do you think that was the crock pot one or the Instapot one? Which one do you think? I think the Instapot. <laughs> okay, try that other one. Ready? Go. Let's see if you can try. Okay. Okay, what do you think? It tastes like the crock pot. Okay, so you think this one is Instapot Insta and this one is crock pot? Correct. Yeah, you're right. Yes. That was a really good guess. Excellent guesses. Okay, now it's mommy's turn. Okay, so we've switched it up. So I don't know which is which. Only my daughter does. It was really good. I'm going to try the other one and see. That is really good. Okay. I think, I think this is Instapot and this is Crock-Pot. This is so good. So delicious either way.